Hello everyone, welcome to the lecture series of valuation, how to get the right value of your property. So in the lecture series of valuation, we have covered that what is cost, price and value, basic difference between cost, price and value, then what is valuation, what are the factors on, uh, factors affecting the value of the property, then we have seen the purpose or the objectives of the valuation, then we have started with mortgage, freehold, leasehold property. Net income, gross income and outgoings, we have seen certain outgoings which are uh, to be considered. Then we have seen depreciation and obsolence, types of depreciation, types of obsolence. Then we have started with methods of calculating depreciation. There were four methods, straight line method, constant percentage method, sinking fund method and quantity survey method. Then we have seen the straight line method, which was in the formula was B equals to C minus S upon N. And we have seen numerical based on straight line method. Then we have discussed about constant percentage method. The formula was P equals to 1 minus S upon C raised to 1 upon N. And we have seen numerical based on constant percentage method. Uh, let me uh, recall that constant percentage method is lesser applicable to the building it is more suitable for the machineries. Then we have seen sinking fund method. In sinking fund method, we have seen two kind of formula, P formula and Q formula. Then we have seen the numericals based on sinking fund method in which when we need to find the sinking fund, we'll use P formula and then when we need to find the interest on that sinking fund, we'll use Q formula. We have to calculate that uh, interest for each and every year and then we have to prepare a table for book value if it is asked. So this, this much topics are being covered in the previous lecture series, in the previous sessions of the lecture series of valuation. So if you have not covered it before this watching this session, I'll advise you to go and watch that session first and then come back here. So today in this session, we are going to learn few of the other numericals based on depreciation. So starting with our first numerical. So the question says that the cost of newly constructed building is 150,000 rupees. And the life of the building is 75 years. Determine the depreciation in 30th year by straight line method, constant percentage method and sinking fund method. The in rate of interest for the compound interest is 8% and the scrap value of the property is 10% of its construction cost. So here the rate of interest is 8, original cost of the property is 150,000. The scrap value is 10%, so 15,000. The total life of the building is 75 years and we have to find the depreciation in the 30th year of the property. This sum we have to calculate by three of the method, all three methods, straight line, constant percentage and sinking fund method. So starting our sum with straight line method. As you know the formula for straight line method, it is D equals to C minus S upon N. From that formula, we will get the value of annual depreciation. So the annual depreciation D equals to C minus S, put the value C equals to 150,000. S is the scrap value which is 10% of the construction cost. So that is 15,000. So and divided by N, that is 75 years. So we will get the annual depreciation as 1,800 rupees. Now, 
we need to find the total depreciation after 30 years. So, recall the concept of n years. So, the annual depreciation was 1800 total years at, uh, at point of 30 years. So, multiply both of them. So, we'll get 54,000 rupees of depreciation after 30 years of the life of the property. This is by method of straight line. I am repeating again, what I have done in the straight line method, I have the formula D equals to C minus S upon N. I have got the annual depreciation. Then, I have multiplied this annual depreciation up to the 30 years. So, I will get the answer 54,000 rupees. Now, let us see the same sum with the use of constant percentage method. So, as we know, that to find out the depreciated value or to find out the depreciation at the 30th year, we have the direct formula C into S upon C raised to M by N. Here C was 150,000, S was 15,000, M was 30 and N was 75. So putting all the values in the formula, we will get 59,715 rupees as the depreciated value. Now to get the depreciation, what we have to do is Original value was 150,000, subtracting this 59,000, so we will get the depreciation as 90,285 rupees. That is the depreciation after 30 years by using constant percentage method. So you can see the difference. By straight line method, it was just 54,000 rupees. By constant percentage method, it is 90,000 rupees. Now, let us do the same process with the use of sinking fund method. Here, we need to find the depreciation value at 30th year. So, as we have seen in the previous session, we can't do the calculation one year by one year for each year. Here, we need to find the first P formula, P factor and Q factor. So, let us find the coefficient of P factor and Q factor for 75 years life. So, in P, I upon 1 plus I raised to N minus 1. Here, the N will be 75 years. Because the sinking fund which you are investing, which you are putting, that is for all the, uh, throughout the life of the building, that is 75. So, we will get the value of P at 2.498 into 10 raised to minus 4. Now, Q is being used for to find out the interest here, we are going to find the depreciation at 30th year. So, we need to find out the Q factor only up to 30th year. So, in case of Q factor, I have taken the value N equals to 30. So, I will get the Q factor as 113.28 rupees. Here, we have just got the P factor and the Q factor. We have not find out the depreciation yet. So, let us see. Now, by multiplying the P and Q, we will get the rate of depreciation for 30 years. So, the multiplication of P and Q will give us 0.02829. This rate of depreciation, we need to multiply with C minus S to get the total depreciation after 30th year. So, while multiplying this C minus S, C minus S is 1,35,000. And multiplying this uh, depreciation factor, we will get the depreciation 3819.15 rupees. So, this is how you will calculate by using sinking fund method. Moving forward to our second example. So, the question says that calculate the percentage of the depreciation by using sinking fund method for a building having total life of the 60 years and 15 years at 3.5 percent. What would be the depreciation percentage for the above building at the age of 40 years at 5 percent? Let us check. So first, we need to find out the percentage depreciation at 15 years with the rate of interest 3.5 percent. So first, we need to find P factor. Here, in our case, P factor formula is I upon 1 plus I raised to N minus 1. So, the N will be the total life. Again, we have just done in sum number 1. 
while doing the p formula we have to take n as a total life of yours because the sinking fund sinking fund you are putting or you are uh, sinking fund you are investing for the throughout the life of the building so in p n will be 60 now calculating the q 1 plus i raised to n minus 1 upon i n will be at the point which you are finding so in case of q factor the n will be 15 so by this you will get the answer of p as 0 0.0051 and you get the answer of Q as 19.269. Here, we have been asked as percentage of depreciation. So just multiply P into Q. So, we will get 9.84 percentage. Yes, the percentage of depreciation is 9.84. You don't have to find out what is the depreciation value. You just have to find out the percentage. This was the first question. There is another question. Let us see that. The second question says that find out the depreciation percentage at 40 years with the rate of interest 5%. So again P factor and Q factor. Here the P factor value will be 0 0.0028 while the Q factor will become 120.80. So multiplying this P factor and Q factor will get the final answer at 33.284%. That is our final answer. So I hope we are clear up to this point. Let us see another example. An owner of the building deposits 2,250 rupees every year in his account to accumulate fund for repair and maintenance of his building. If the rate of interest is 7%, how much amount will be accumulated after 20 years? See, this is the question of depreciation. Read it. I am reading it again. Listen it very carefully. An owner of a building is depositing 2250 rupees every year in his bank account for the repair and maintenance of the property. The rate of interest uh, which he is depositing this 2250 every year is 7%. How much amount he will get after 20 years. Recall this kind of statement. Recall this kind of theory. This is kind of Q factor that if I invest 1 rupee, if I deposit 1 rupee every year, how much amount I will get? So, here to solve this question, we need to apply we need to apply Q factor. Correct. Let us see. So, as the statement of Q factor says that if 1 rupee is deposited, deposited every year am amount accumulated after 20 years. So Q equals to 1 plus i raised to n minus 1 upon i. i is 7% and n is 20 years because we are finding the accumulation at 20 years. So we'll get the Q as 40.995. You can round it off by 41. Now we need to find out the accumulated amount. So we have the value that what value we are investing 2250. What is the Q factor for that? 40.995. So multiplying this will get you 92,238.75 rupees. That means at the end of 20 years, the property owner will get 92,238.75 rupees. If he deposits 2,250 rupees every year with the rate of interest 7%. So I hope we are clear regarding this kind of questions. So this is it. That was all about the other sums of depreciation. In case of any query, you can always contact me on my mail or my number. Thank you so much.